Good morning and welcome to Here Today. Where tomorrow. And today is... Cruise, Cruise Day. Day! That's right. We're going to start today off here at the Holiday Inn Express in Jacksonville East. And uh, I think we're going to go get some breakfast. Hot breakfast. Hot go breakfast. Get it, go get a dinner. We're going to go get a dinner. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast. And then we're going to head to the port. So join us on a week-long adventure aboard the Carnival Elation leaving out of Jacksonville. Starting off this complimentary breakfast, we have a pancake maker, some cereal, toaster for your bakery items like toast or bagels, then you have your hot food, we got some biscuits and sausage gravy, delicious, we have some sausage patties and some sausage links, and then of course your scrambled eggs. Then we got some milk and some yogurt over here, some fruit, those bananas seen some better days. Got some juice there, and then of course, how can you not have a breakfast without some sticky cinnamon buns? Oh, would you just look at it? Of course, you got some oatmeal and stuff there too, and Madison loved her breakfast. All right, we just parked. We are going ahead and uh, it was $85 to park. This is a five day cruise, so you prepay for that. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, unlike Canaveral, you have to pay afterward. So that's nice to get that out of the way. But we're heading um, towards the line. This is what everybody says about Jackson uh, Port is that you gotta wait outside. And the port building isn't very big, so that building right there, that is the port building. And then you have an outdoor gangway to get on the ship. Boy, we feel so lucky to have picked the later time to arrive because if we would have been earlier, it definitely would have been raining. So standing outside in this big old line uh, is something I think we take for granted when we cruise out of Canaveral because everything's indoors. But uh, thankfully we missed the rain and so far, so good. So here we are in the terminal waiting. Um, of course, because Madison is still unvaccinated, we have to do a secondary testing. So here's mommy and Madison in line to do the secondary testing to prove that she is in fact negative for COVID-19. So we did a little bit of waiting here. Wasn't too bad, but as you can see, this is a small, small port. But after all that said and done, we finally went up the outdoor gangway and crossed the magical bridge into the carnival elation. Welcome aboard. To an ankle. What's your name? Madison. 
Just to give you knuckles. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Look at that, it says ribbon. Wow. Yay. Say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Say thank you. Well, yeah. Safety bear. Say safety bear. Safety. Safety bear. By the way, before I start, my name is Diana. Your tallest Filipino fun squad on board. I hope you're doing well. And do we have any first time cruisers? Yay! Thank you so much for coming here on Carnival Ovation. Madison is how many now? We have three left count. Four. Four. You have the same contract as me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're here because you have to know what to do and where to go in case of an emergency. In case you heard that emergency alarm, you have to come here on your Master Station A. Diana then puts on the life jacket and shows us how to secure it and make sure that we're safe if something were to happen at sea. She goes over all of the different tools and instruments that are available to us to make sure that we are safe. Okay. So, this will be the start of your vacation. Thank you so much mm -hmm. again. My name is Diana. You can drink, you can eat ice cream now. Bye. Yeah. So we just wrapped up the mustard drill, which was conveniently just one deck up. Now I'll say this, the entire process to get onto the ship was way longer than we expected. Yeah. Um, I'm talking hours and we were hungry. So we ended up going to the Lido deck and just grabbing uh, pretty much a little bit of everything. But first, like she said, we did our mustard station. Of course. So, Right when you get on the ship, no matter how hum hungry you are, how rumbly and the tumbly you are, go to your muster station first. Because honestly, the last 15 minutes they've been like, uh, it, it, can everyone please come to your muster station so we can leave? Because we're not leaving. Like we were supposed to, we were supposed to set sail at 3.30. It's like 3.42. So we're late. And that's because people don't go to their muster station. So and, and before is you get your ice cream, go to your god damn muster station it is maritime law so they yes. cannot move now, this the isn't ship. a joke right they cannot move the ship until everybody does their muster station so even though we're starving yeah we did our muster yeah. then, then we went, we went and got our food yeah. uh which was really delicious we got tacos from the blue yeah. iguana cantina which yeah. i can't remember the last time they're tacos i honestly so i good. usually don't swing for the blue iguana i always go for guys but the guy's burger line was so long and they yeah. only had one side open so we went over to the cantina. There was a good amount of people standing in the burrito line, but nobody was standing in the taco line. Yeah. So I got one of each. They had fish, chicken, and pork. Um, and I'll tell you, I was quite surprised by the fish taco. It was like a small piece of breaded fish that was just the right size for their smaller uh, tacos. Um, I threw some cheese on there, some sour cream, and there was a watermelon and onion type salsa that I threw on there. Wow, I was really impressed so we did that yep. and then food uh, was good and we grabbed some stuff from the deli yeah. and of course we did the funfetti cheesecake that was um i don't know i'm always so hit or miss on the funfetti cheesecakes yeah. but it, it was pretty good madison and... loved all the whipped cream she just shoved her hand all in it so we finished up with lunch and we went ahead kind of walked around a little bit we're back here in the room we got our bags we're trying to settle in get madison's pack and play all set up i believe we are about to head out so I'm gonna go up top and we're gonna check out the sail away party. Uh, there is a bridge, um, and I'm gonna look up the name of the bridge and insert it here, that the elation is gonna go under. Uh, very similar to when you leave out of Tampa port, uh, port of Tampa, you go under the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Um, so I wanna get a couple of photos of that because the funnel uh, is like just under. And so there is only a certain amount of ships, like class of ships that can be in this port because they have to go under that bridge and it is pretty tight. So I'm excited to see that. So let's go check that out. And the only way that we could possibly do a fun friendly competition between two adults is a very sophisticated booty shaking contest.
<laughs> yeah. Where, where are we going, Bubba? Dinner. We're going to dinner. Are you excited? Hello. Are you excited about dinner? Yeah. Let's go get some dinner. All right, so we are in the main dining room. I'll tell you, we had a little bit of a mishap when it came to our seating arrangement, but we're making the best of it, and hopefully tonight goes well. Uh, but what we are going to start with today, I'm going to start with a quesadilla for my appetizer, as well as the smoked poblano and corn soup. Then for mains, I'm gonna go ahead and get either the roast chicken, probably the roast chicken, or the beef brisket. I always go back and forth on these two, so we'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, for Madison, I love to do the roasted vegetable ricotto lasagna. She really loves it. It's a great, almost shepherd's pie, but all veggies. It's really, really good. Uh, and then for dessert, I will probably stick to the classic carnival melting chocolate cake. And you have to add peanut butter on the side. That is a pro tip, and it will change your life. So we are sitting at table 348. Uh, unfortunately, it's a two-person table and there's three of us. The two-person table is already small. Um, as you can see, Madison's face takes up literally two-thirds of the table. So uh, I don't know where I don't know where we're gonna I don't know where we're gonna put all our, of our food. I could probably do uh, two things of shrimp, but that's about that's about it. That's, that's my maximum table here so um, we think we think we might switch over to uh, the anytime dining and I think that might give us a little bit more freedom since there's three of us um, that would kind of mandate um, I I've said this in the past I am very critical of carnivals be safe have fun uh, protocol and how they really want you to distance to mask uh, until it's not in their interest and that is in the dining room where they just want to shove you next to as many people as you can uh, there's no spaced out nothing and uh, that's always been kind of a failing point to me for carnival through the pandemic um, sadly this is just another instance where uh, you know they just kind of cram them where they can <laughs> Okay, I think we got two more bites, Bubba. Two more bites. Oh, 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 big bite. Ah, ah, ah. Big bite. Ah. There you go. Yeah, strawberry mustache. Yeah, you sound like that guy from Disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bubba, last bite. Last bite. Last bite, big one. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's probably mustache. Oh, man. Okay, all done. Alchemy Bar right now, I will tell you, we discovered the Cucumber Sunrise on our last cruise with Jason and Julia, and it was amazing. So I actually went up to the Alchemy Bar, didn't even have my phone, didn't pull up the menu, didn't need to, already knew what I was going to order. And so here we have the Cucumber Sunrise, which has vodka, it has melon nectar, it has cucumber, of course, um, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is delightful. It is delicious and refreshing and uh, something that is worth the extra cost of the Alchemy Bar. Cheers. Cheers. So we just wrapped up at the Alchemy Bar where we just hung out, had a few drinks, uh, met a couple of new friends, and uh, just had a nice time together. We are going to call it a night tonight. This little one did not have a proper nap, so she is rambunctious. Yep, she definitely has pushed every button tonight, but 
with this age, that is something that is considered a milestone of development, That's which right. is something I remind myself often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into our day aboard the Carnival Elation Cruise Day, Embarkation Day, day number one. We got many days coming up, so join us. Uh, in tomorrow, as we do uh, sea day, sea day. That's right. I was going to say Nassau, but we sea have a sea day, day in between. Sea day oh, brunch. Sea oh, day brunch. yeah. That's all I've been thinking about. Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. It's perfect for a Father's Day Eggs celebration. Ben. It's tomorrow Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll this catch you tomorrow. One, this little one made me a father. Tomorrow we celebrate you, Madison. But really, Daddy. we're celebrating me. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it when I throw her on the bed. Okay. Good night, guys. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Good night.